Welcome back to my channel, The Machine Brain. So far, we have discussed about the data warehouse components and building of a data warehouse. Today, we will discuss about the data warehouse architecture. Here, architecture means an art or design to design a some data or something data. Here, data warehouse architecture means to arrange the various components of data warehouse. For arranging some particular data in an order in data warehouse, we can call it as a architecture. That is data warehouse architecture and yeah why we use this architecture why we use data warehouse architecture it makes the process of accessing and retrieving data simple the uh, we have uh, you are accessing data by using what lab tools or uh, reporting rules it makes it makes very simple okay then it makes the talks of updating and adding data much easier in data warehouse you are uh, updating or adding some of the data no 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 sorry in not in data warehouse uh, in the source layer you are updating and da data much easier so it makes very easier in and next in data warehouse a common stand agent repository of data will be created in data warehouse the the uh, the creation the creation of the data it will be standard repository it will stored in a standardized form of a repository repository means um, something projects or something data will be stored that is called repository and last it involves users of very various extraction loading and transformation tools etc uh, yesterday we have discussed uh, etl tools like uh, hivos etc that are the etl tools it involves it uses various etl tools okay and here there are three types of data warehouse architecture one is single layer architecture two layer architecture and three layer architecture or we can call it as a one tier architecture two tier architecture and three tier architecture let us discuss about briefly about the three layers a yeah, single layer architecture single layer architecture consists of only one layer that is source layer or data warehouse layer here the particular organization for example hospital etc that's it here organization it stores large amount of transitional data or and decisions real time it should be real time for example let us take hospital medical store here in medical store there consists of lot of stocks here um, uh, updating ad, uh, or is we, here we will update the stocks here consists of uh, more amount of uh, transactions will be there and it should be updated at every time and next two layer two layer architecture here it consists of two layers source layer and data warehouse layer here uh, source layer uh, source layer it extracts data from data stores okay by using etl tool it stores in a data warehouse layer and here olap tools and uh, uh, when we want to access something by using olap tools and uh, report uh, reporting tools data warehouse will be access in data it will be accessed okay next three layer architecture here additional operation data layer will be it will be additional okay we know the source layer and data will be extracted from the source and by using etl tool it stores in a operational data layer and when we want to access when we want to access by uh, by using reporting tools and olap tools which is stores in operator oper operational data layer it transforms into data warehouse and and then it will be accessed and or else we can access uh, data from directly to the data warehouse by file tools okay in addition to first second and third architecture there are another architecture also one is centralized architecture hub and spoke architecture and federal architecture okay, let us see 
this architecture first central architecture it is a single data model and it and it will be centralized in nature okay due to is it is very complex and create difficulty in building blocks building of data warehouse in general we cannot use this centralized architecture and next hub and spoke architecture here hub means the data which is stored in a data warehouse will be centralized this is hub and here are spokes these are source layer data mart function function managers general manager these are all are spoke and centralized data warehouse is the hub here um, in in source layer it extract from source of a data and by using etl tool it stores into the centralized data warehouse okay and this centralized data warehouse will be accessed by the general managers and here data mart means um, a related data or particular data this particular data will be accessed by the functional managers okay if you want related data it will be accessed it in data mart or if you want to access uh, total data it will be accessed by the general managers okay next federal architecture there are uh, separate database for this it store detailed data which ensures a faster response time in that it ensures faster it sorts the detailed information of something organization etc that's all about the architecture of uh, data warehouse if you have any queries ask me in comment section thank you